Hey everyone, <clears throat> if you recall in a previous video, uh, we did a little uh, playing around with the vault, uh, Ansible vault, and we encrypted a file that housed uh, our local account and password uh, that we're using to connect into um, our switches and routers. <clears throat> uh, if you recall, uh, this is the Ansible vault information. Uh, just go out there and Google Ansible Vault, and you should get the documentation page. This is our topology again. <clears throat> so we've got our Ansible server up here. Uh, we're housing that uh, Ansible Vault file and our playbooks on it, and using the uh, Ansible playbooks to configure our switches and routers. <clears throat> so uh, to go back to our Ansible server, uh, we're in that uh, Ansible directory. Let's go to the accounts directory. And if we, uh, let's VI our local accounts YAML. Uh, this is our playbook. If you recall, we set up a vars files that has our uh, host info file in, that dire in our current directory and that is housing our encrypted uh, username and password uh, information that we're passing to our host file and connecting to our devices. So let's quit out of this and let's look at our host file. Okay, down here at the bottom of our uh, host file, we have our variables. And we have our local username and our local password that we are uh, passing from our host info file. So if you recall, our host info, info file is encrypted. So if we tried to cat that or edit it in any fashion uh, without going through uh, the Ansible vault, uh, you'll see all we get is a hash value back uh, encryption. Right. So in order to edit that file, you recall we have to say Ansible uh, vault. Uh, if we want to edit it, we say edit and we want the file that we want to edit, which is host info.yaml. It's going to ask us for a password and we can edit this file now. And as you can see, we've got our local username and our local password. Uh, just NetOps and NetOps, you know, real secure. And we'll go ahead and quit out of that. And if you recall, if we're going to run the playbook, uh, we have to tell it, tell the playbook we need to ask for our Ansible password. Uh, so if we say Ansible playbook, uh, local accounts, we have to say dash dash ask vault pass hit enter it'll ask us or ask us to enter the password and it'll start running the uh, playbook but let's say we want to run this in a, uh, a cron job or you know set it up in an automated fashion we're not going to want to have to put in a password or ask for a password it's not going to function for us or we're going to be running um, several playbooks and we just we don't want to have to sit there and type in that password over and over again uh, what we can do is we can set a password uh, file uh, that we can point to in our ansible config and uh, pass that information along uh, when we try and run uh, the playbook and what we'll do is we'll set that up now and basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a a clear text uh, text file within our home directory uh, that will point to in our Ansible config file. Uh, so if we go ahead and edit our Ansible config file and we insert, we're going to just say uh, vault password file. And that vault password file is tilde slash, and we'll call it vault pass 
text. And basically what this does is this says, this is gonna be in the home directory of whoever is logged in. Uh, they have this vault, uh, vault pass text file. It'll use that file uh, to go ahead and pass the vault password along to our script or along to our playbook and use it uh, to decrypt that file and start passing in our username and passwords. Okay, escape, colon, right, and quit. So we'll go ahead and change our directory to our home directory. Uh, if I PWD here, see what our present working directory is, you'll see we're in the home NetOps directory. So I'm in my home directory here for my, for my account on this box. And what we'll do is we'll vi, uh, what do we call it, vault underscore pass dot txt. And we'll type in our vault password, which is currently just password. Real secure, right? Um, just, a, just a lab, so of course you wouldn't do this in production. Uh, but if we escape colon, right and quit, we'll exit out of that. And if we cat our vault pass, we'll see there's our password. Okay, so that's what's going to be passed along to our uh, Ansible vault file. Uh, if we go back to oh, I, uh, oh, 04 for our Ansible directory, 02 for accounts. Just double check our playbook uh, for local accounts. Okay, so we're pointing to that VARS file. Uh, VARS file is host underscore info dot YAML. Right here, host underscore info dot YAML. Uh, we've already edited our uh, Ansible config file. We can cat that real quick just to make sure. Uh, we got vault password file. We're pointing to our uh, home directory to that vault underscore pass dot text file. Okay, so let's clear the screen and see if this will work for us. Uh, we say Ansible uh, playbook and local accounts, and we should not have to put in the to ask for that Ansible password anymore. It'll read it directly from that file that we point it to and run our playbook. And there we go. Everything seems to be running just fine. Takes a little time to run through the script. But as you can see, <coughs> but as you can see, um, we go through, set up that password file uh, in our, uh, you know, we set it up in our, our home directory and point to it. Uh, if, if we're not the ones that are running that uh, particular uh, playbook and the, the individual who is logged in uh, does not have our vault password set in that folder directory, they are not gonna be able to run the uh, playbook, or they will need to know uh, what the password is for the uh, vault encrypted file and ask to enter that password when they run the script. Uh, so again, let's take a look. We'll just count out the Ansible, Ansible config file. Again, that's the vault underscore password file. We point to our home directory and the uh, password file that we created, vault underscore pass. Uh, if we cat out local accounts, we had set that VARS file here uh, in, the, in the current working directory that we're in, uh, host underscore info dot YAML, houses our encrypted uh, file. So I hope that helps. Uh, 
we'll continue to use this in uh, future scripts or uh, future playbooks so that we weren't, we're not asking for that Ansible uh, file uh, again. So I hope this was informative. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and share and be on the lookout for more videos.